Yes, it's ladies' night. Oh, what a night. Oh, what a night. <laughs> All right. Now the Swiss will uh, step between the lines. Our first look at Switzerland. The ladies, what will they show us? They got the always tough gamer, Sarah Kershaw, and the equally seasoned Marielle Giroux. Joining Evita Hermin Jar and Nancy Fora. It's time to lace up the sneaks and get to it. All right, so Switzerland uh, will start with the rock. Giroud. Oh, she and Kershaw. Cross wires right there. Giroud for two. True. Two piece. Swiss. Sweet. Start things off. Kanea drops the. Uh, she was going to the drop step. And then Aitana with a tough shot. That's not normally her preferred uh, shot attempt. Let's look back at that Giroud shot attempt. She got a nice stroke out there from beyond that two-point arc. She can put it down on you. And here's Jiru, high arc, one more again. So Jiru, she got the drip like a broke faucet so far. So Team Espana on the attack. Here's Jimeno. She gets to the center of the paint, but she can't find the mark. Here's Forda. Forda stops short. Oh, yeah. That was a, was like a hook, a jump hook from 18 feet. She'll take it. Yeah, another look. That's a tough shot right there. Make no mistake about it. And Giroud, she's able to draw the contact on the drive. 
That was in the process of the shot. So she is going to shoot one. Jiru is good from the charity strike. Five nothing. So Spain off to a very sluggish start. First uh, minute of this game. I don't know if Spain's off to a sluggish start or Switzerland's just off to a fast start. We are only a minute and 20 seconds into this game. Oh, nice. Oh, she splits the D with a beautiful move, but Florida couldn't finish it off. Just another case of a million dollar move and a five dollar shot. You gotta bring it all together, make it make sense. Aitana hands it off, Kanea. Not this time. Ball finds its way to Forda. Sarah Kershaw turns around, oh. Lost her footing, lost the cookie in the process. Jimeno behind the back, Aitana going to work. And she couldn't quite get the jump hook to go. Chiru, nice little cross there. Here's Kershaw. Nice drive to the cup for her. She's able to score. It's six nothing. Switzerland. Oh, Kanea just took her took her eyes off of uh, off the ball. And a turnover. So a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde to this Espana team. As outstanding as they looked against Italy, and as outstanding as they've looked here in 2021. These look like some imposters through about two minutes. Would a real Spain please stand up? Sandra Igarevide's pass is deflected. Now they're going to have to get to it late in the shot clock here. She's got six seconds to go. She goes to the crossover, but she lost the handle on the rock. So ball back over to Switzerland, who continue to apply pressure. Hanamin Jard. She goes to the 10, puts it in. Seven, nothing. Starts to look over at the at Spain's coaching staff, and they look a little antsy, look a little edge on the edge of their seats. Like, what, what's going on here? You got to get it to your bread and butter now. If Igeta Vida is not shooting, then Aitana needs to be getting uh, many, many touches. You know what she can do. She can put that round thing in the round thing. She gets Spain on the board, but it's answered right back. So Mariel Giroud, she keeps it a seven point distance. Aitana, great positioning underneath. And then she's, uh, she shows a little frustration with Sarah Kershaw behind her. She, she swings uh, that elbow, she gets called for the foul. Time out on the floor, eight to two games. Spain's got some, they work cut out for them. Six-point deficit is not insurmountable. We know that. But it's, it's also not the position you want to start in at the beginning of a game against a Swiss, uh, against a Swiss team that's, uh, that's pretty dangerous. So a quick check in to that Swiss huddle. Uh, let me know what they said. Oh, oh, Giroud. Went to the cross, uh-uh. Jimeno. Sorry about that. Apologize to y'all ears. I, I just bit an apple. I admit it. I was hungry. <laughs> just over six minutes to play. Let's we'll see if Spain can string together some several good offensive possessions. Aitana takes her time. Mid-range game on point as well. 
8-3, Forda doing her dance. She missed the step. Jimeno with Giroud defending. She cared nothing of it. Too little. Couple of crossovers. Hermin Jart. Got to give it up now. Got to get it up. Giroud does. And she nearly hit that. Looked like it was online. Eight to four. Aitana. She gets down to the block. She wanted that ball. Uh, but I think she'll settle for that result. It's Jimeno. Drip, drop. Two ball. 8-6. Forda. scoop de doop Off target. Aitana with cookie in hand. She couldn't. Oh, well, stays with Spain. Got a fortunate bounce there. Jimeno. She's also very dangerous on the block. She can't get that mid -range, that short J to fall, rather. Now let's see if she can stay in front of Forda. Good luck with that. She's Wilson for the foul. And there. You can start to see the energy changing now with that Spain coaching contingent. They can't be happy with the defense here. Nine to six, make that nine to seven. See how quickly things can change in 3x3? This was a seven nothing game. Since then, Spain has gone on a seven to two run. So right when you think a team is dead in the water, that's if you're new. If you've been around, if you've been around the block like I have, you know anything before you hit five minutes, you don't need to be predicting any results. It could change in a blink. Four fouls on Spain. They trail it still by two. We'll see if the Swiss can reignite or recapture uh, that early magic that they had in jumping out to that 7 nothing lead. So 425 and counting. Sandra Igedevide put on the brakes. Broke her all something. Up, oh, up. Oh, tried the po pocket pass. Miscommunication. Hermin John and Hermin Jared and Kershaw. Kanea takes the handoff. Quick step right to the rack. She goes. And Jiru gets called for the foul there. Yeah, look again. And yeah. No question, plenty of contact there. So Marta Kanea steps up and calmly, calmly knocks it down. Giroud, she's had the hot hand to this point. They left her all by herself and she couldn't make it. Good vision. Ah, missed chance there. You rarely see Spain missing those type of buckets. Hear me, Jark, changing directions. Oh, yeah. Put her in the blender. Put her on the bucket list. 10-9. That's, that is a tough shot right there. Plenty of fight left in the Swiss, it seems. But a 9-2-3 run.
Aitana bumping the bucket. So she'll get a chance to get two the hard way. Great positioning down there. Florida needed some reinforcements. They did not come in time. So Aitana takes care of business at the charity stripe, and all of a sudden, Spain's in front, but only for a moment. Giroud. So after the Giroud two, 12-11. We got some, we've had some really competitive games today. Uh, this is yet another one. Spain finds himself in yet another dogfight. We said we said in previewing this uh, this Olympic qualifying tournament that this would be the pool of death, the pool of death uh, on the women's side. So you got Italy, you got Switzerland, you got Spain, you got Austria. Those are your top four teams in this group. Chinese Taipei in there as well. But uh, see, these are some of the best in the biz. Just look at their international resumes. And you'll see what I mean. 12-12. Kanea will give it over to Igeta Vide. And we've yet to see Igeta Vide really catch flame in this one. She does give Spain a one-point advantage. Igeta Vide does take that foul. Rather that than an easy bucket, but oh, look at the drive. Hermin Jard, nice move, tough shot, comes up empty. Oh, Aitana, she, she wanted to get it to Kanea. And now she's just going to take it herself. She knows she's got three seconds on the shot clock. She had her, her back to the bucket for uh, five seconds. That is a violation. You cannot do it. Kind of neutralizes some of the post players with size. Oh, Hedeman Jarn, pardon me. Beautiful move, just gotta finish the deal. Take another look. Uh. Just nicked the left side of the rim. A little bit disappointed. Uh, Jiru, did she get two toes behind the line? Didn't matter anyway. Shot goes begging. Stays a one point game. Aitana, Kanea, Jimeno. Going to work on the post. Take that with you. She put her on the bucket list. Now, Giroud, Kershaw, no hesitation. Thank you. 14 up. Push on Giroud. Credit Giroud. We talk about one of the more gifted offensive players in, in the women's game, in Aitana. Giroud undersized, but she's found herself matched up against Aitana several times, and she is... She's held her ground. She's held her ground. We still got a minute and 17 and counting left to see exactly how this thing is going to play out. For the 14-14 game, it's anybody's to win. And if Switzerland is able to pull this one out, you can credit the, the offense and defense of Marielle Giroux, who is, she has been spectacular for the Swiss team in this game. Kanea. She gets a good look from two range. Missed it for her. Tracks down the rebound. Hermine Jar thought about the two. Uh oh! Jimena! She sat her down like a heart to heart talk. <laughs> she might want to. She might want to temporarily suspend her IG account. People are gonna be saying stuff. Oh man. Oh, 16-14. So foul. 
Uh, six apiece now. 24 seconds to go. Switzerland with a two-point lead. Look again at Hermin Jard. Pardon me. I just got some ankles to break. Giroud. An important possession. Oh, got her cookie snatched. Ten seconds to play. Aitana going for the one. She misses it. Tips it out to Igalavide. Igalavide with a good look. She can't make it count. Aitana, it won't matter. And a big upset here, I, I think it's safe to say. Switzerland taking one from Spain here. They mean business. What a win for the Swiss. It don't get much sweeter than that. So Mary, on the on the strength of Marielle Giroux, Herman Jauer also chipping in. This was this was a team effort from Switzerland, but Giroux really went bananas in this contest to, to help lift Switzerland to a win. Uh, Julie Dubuff standing by with Sarah Kershaw right now after a huge victory for the Swiss here day one. Sarah, you beat Russia two weeks ago at the Women's Series. Today you beat Spain. This team is not afraid. Oh, definitely not. I mean, we've shown since uh, we've been here in the 3x3 that we've been here. We've never not stepped up in big games. We've never not been here. We've always won big games. Everybody needs to be scared of us, and they really should, because we're here to win. There's no doubt about it. You started so well, 7-0 at the start of the game. Uh, what do, you, what do you think made the difference uh, today? We just played as a team. We stuck together the whole time. We're aggressive. We're a small team. We're very mobile. And it's very difficult for players to guard us when we move like we did today. We had a little e good baskets to start off the game with. They came back when we stuck together and we showed that we had a lot of heart and that we were here to win tonight. And we beat Spain and that's the best thing we could have done to start the tournament. All right, congrats. Appreciate See you later. Thank you. Tell you what, I like the confidence. I love the confidence of this Swiss team. You heard Sarah Kershaw, she said, teams need to be afraid of us. Uh, I, I, I find it hard to disagree. Uh, they got everything you need. And you know, I think the proof in, in them beating Spain, they've served notice to the rest of the field. Uh, what a way to start this tournament. Uh, they beat Russia, as you heard Julian DeBove mention in the Women's Series a couple of weeks ago. That was a signature win for them. You, you know Russia's pedigree in uh, women's 3x3. Uh, but you need to probably take a second look at Switzerland's pedigree as well. They got a great coaching staff and, uh, and a huge amount of confidence. I mean, to go with the talent that this team uh, possesses. A better defensive team than I think people give them credit for. I, I mentioned Mario Giroud and what she was able to do in terms of slowing down Atiana Cuevas, you can never completely shut her out. All you can do is, is hope to slow her down. You got the creative scoring of Hermin Jard and uh, did a good job defending Sandra Igueta Vide as well. I'm anxious to see the Switzerland team again. And, and you know, whether, whether or not it's fool's goal, we will see that Austria team, we saw them have a good showing in their first contest. We're gonna see if Switzerland can can uh, handle them as well. They come out of this day 2-0. and oh. It'd be hard to, to argue that they, they aren't the class of this group. I mean, the stats would certainly back it up. Big win. Big win for Switzerland. Huge congratulations.